Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. I want to do a short video on sort of resetting some permissions in Avid just to make things a little bit smoother. You may have come across Avid, it's been a bit twitchy, been a bit weird, and you're not too sure what to do. I have previously made a video um, about refreshing Avid Media database files on your external storage. That's really useful. You should probably do that once a month if you've got a ton of a ton of media on, on, a, on a storage drive. Um, but this is going to be something that, that's more uh, application based, not, not to do the external storage. Uh, it's pretty quick. It's There are two things that I do. Um, and I just want to show you now. So um, if I just go to the Finder, um, the first thing to do is if you go to Applications, um, and you go and find the Avid Media Composer um, application. Open that out and you'll notice as you go down, there's a settings folder. If you open the settings folder out, you'll notice this, an MC state file. That MC state file is, is sort of like a permissions file. Um, what you can do, if you're having weird errors, weird twitches, crashes, glitches, things like that, what I would suggest you do is just delete that. Delete that file. Don't worry, it's non-destructive. Avid will actually rebuild it and I'll show you that in a minute. So that's the first thing I would do. The second thing I would do is I would go onto the hard drive itself. Now, previously I talked about the Avid Media Files folder and trashing the media databases. You may not know this, but Avid itself creates a um, an Avid Media Files folder, but actually on your hard drive. Um, if you go into Users and you go to Shared, inside there you will see this folder, Avid Media Composer. Open that out and going down you will see, there it is, the Avid Media Files folder. So that's already on your system. Now, a lot of people forget to trash the media databases in this folder, and this can cause a lot of problems. So if you open that out, um, we've got an MXF folder there, and I've got, look, I've got a folder number one, and I've got a few bits of media in it. Um, there are the two media database files. Delete those, okay? Again, it's non-destructive, don't worry about it. Don't delete the media though. Um, and those two things are gonna help reset your application and hopefully get you back online, but you back you working quicker, and uh, a little bit more efficiently, okay? When we go into Avid, you'll notice it'll do a couple of things. So it's, see that scan there, very, very quick? It's actually scanned that folder, um, the Avid Media folder, and I'll show you that in a moment. And we're just in an old project here. I don't have any media attached, but if I was just to mess around in this project, you know, in and out, whatever, well, let's say I just wanna take part of that caption out, and lift that out. <clears throat> so I'd save that out, and I hit save. So I've saved the project, I come out, and if I have a look inside Avid Media Composer again, if you look in the settings folder, you can see a new MC state file has been generated, okay? It's non-destructive, okay? Avid has rebuilt it for you, okay? It's reset a few annoying permissions. It's always a good one to do. And if we have a look at the, um, the Avid Media Files folder on your hard drive again, again in shared, Avid Media Composer, Avid Media Files, you can see, there you go, the two Media database files have been rebuilt, okay? So those are the two things that I would suggest you do if your Avid is being a bit twitchy, a bit weird. Remember always to, um, you know, certainly every month if you've got lots of storage, trash your media databases on your st external storage. Um, and hopefully that'll bring you back online and help you um, work and, and deliver and get your program out the door. Catch you next time. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.